Tony writes us, I heard you mention in passing in a recent pod podcast that you recommend six to eight week period of no training at all. Yeah, I mean, four, four weeks for sure, six, if you can do it, I can't. Eight would be on the top end of a yearly off season. I don't know if I could ever do that. Of no, uh, of no training at all. Okay. I took this little nugget to heart due to the fact that my forced resting season is upon me. Now, instead of being bummed out and depressed about not being able to train, I'm completely at peace with my inactivity. And my question is, in this six to eight week period, do you recommend no train at all? Could I lift on a nice Saturday or Sunday for fun? I've been thinking about doing some body weight stuff like push-ups or pull-ups to kill the time. I guess I would just like to expand on the notion of a yearly six to eight week period of rest and what to start after the rest period is over. My diet is solid, so I'm not worried about weight gain, but for a five-day week trainer, no activity at all is difficult. Yeah, I hope you didn't read too much into it. That's actually for performance athletes, but but, but I don't mind this. Here's the thing, you know, I, a year is 12 months, and I think basically about two months a year you should go for it. For most people, it's January and May, you know, getting rid of the Christmas fat and then getting ready for the bikini season. But you should also have a month in there somewhere where you kind of just take it easy. And I, I've noticed through here in the United States that basically from Thanksgiving to Christmas, Christmas to New Year's, it kind of depends, um, is a lot of people don't train then anyway. So why not just throw your arms around Thanksgiving and New Year's as I'm going to take it off. And it doesn't mean you get fat. And yes, absolutely go for walks. And if you have any issues that you need to do mobility for or whatever, please do that. Can everybody do it? No. I'm, I'm one that can't. I, I, I'm like a dog. If I don't get my exercise, I get grumpy. Um, I do recommend on that rest that you do something very proactive in the kitchen. So that would be like during that rest period, you cook every meal. Your training is learning how to ferment food, learning how to barbecue, learning how to saute new vegetables, trying new recipes, that kind of thing. Um, I can't believe I said six to eight weeks because I've never done that in my entire life. I think six would be my max. Um, but during that time, try to be very active in the world. Like uh, this would be a great time to play games. This is a great time to, to walk. Uh, by the way, I don't consider things like if you're not a racing bicyclist, me riding my bike is not training. It's going out and having a good time. Um, but playing any sports you can think of that are fun and low grade and you're not going to get into a fist fight or anything. That's what you want to be doing, Tony. Now, because of COVID, you probably can't play those sports. But um, try to find those things you can do. Uh, walk. I would love to see you walk every day during your off period. I'd love to see you learn a new cooking method. I'd love to see you make the world a better place. I hope that helps, Tony.